Good morning guys. Let's see control structures in C++. Most of the time we use sequence, decision making and loop or iteration structure in C++ programs. Firstly, we will see sequence structure. Suppose we have one entry point. And one exit point. Fine. And in this program, I am supposed to perform two actions. Action 1 and action 2. As you can see, firstly, we will perform action 1. After action 1, we will perform action 2. So, as you can see, one sequence is maintained. There is sequential flow of execution of instructions. So this is our sequence structure. The, in the next we have decision making. Suppose at some point of time in our program we check for the we check for some condition. If condition comes out to be true. If condition is evaluated to True. Then we perform action 1. If condition is evaluated to false, then we perform action 2. Fine. So as you can see, an action 3 or exit. As you can see, based on the condition, whether it's evaluated to, to true, or false, we are making a decision. We are not executing action 1 and action 2. We are just executing action 1 or action 2 based on the output of our condition. So this is our decision making structure. The next is loop or iteration structure. Again here what we do, we have a condition. Fine. If condition is evaluated to true, then we perform some action. That will be action 1. And after action 1, we again goes back into the condition state. We again check for the condition. If condition is true, we again perform action 1. Again we come at the condition point. We again check for the condition. If condition is true, we go into the action 1. Fine. If condition is false, then we perform action 2. Exit. Or action 3, whatever. So this is about loop or iteration structure. In C++, for decision making, we have if, if else, switch. And for loop or iteration, we have do while, while and for. We will study them in our further Videos. Thank you.